What are your thoughts on professional headhunters or other ways to be on their radar for positions that may not be publicly available? That's, that's a great question. So I will do uh, Tuesdays at two, and I'm actually going to um, interview on my up forthcoming podcast um, some executive recruiters. They re prefer to be called executive recruiters. Um, yeah, get on their radar. Um, if it's a big company, one of the big global firms or a big domestic one, they normally have, um, what do they call them, uh, researchers. So go in, uh, call the office and say, I'm looking for um, the researcher for Joe Smith, uh, who's the uh, recruiter for finance, and then um, ask him, uh, I, I ask them for the researcher's name and then see if you can build a relationship with her, um, with the researcher. <clears throat> it's all relationship building. The whole of career management is relationship building. If you don't build relations, your, your, uh, your career will be on hold for X number of years. So go and see if you can uh, know somebody who knows that person using LinkedIn and see whether they can introduce you. They might know that executive recruiter very well. I would also suggest you post your, your send your resume, but this is a good tip. Send your resume by FedEx, by UPS or whatever, because we open those envelopes. They're important because you spend a lot of money. So they open those uh, uh, documents before they open the plain vanilla manila envelopes that you need to um, uh, spend a little bit of money and FedEx or UPS or whatever your um, your resume as well as sending it via email because executive recruiters get on average 50 requests for resumes um, and introductions every day every day so they, they 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 don't work for you they work for the uh, the client at the other end my name is martin buckland and i am an executive career management practitioner <laughs>